you, you shut him in out, so what, like you and the rest of the family did? Shut That's your favourite way of making me suffer, isn't it? Making out I don't exist. Oh, don't worry about Lil Mo. She doesn't need to know. <laughs> and now here I am, for once the cause of all the problems, and I'm still shut out! Got your attention now, have I? Now the subjects turn to you. Oh, what a surprise! Your little moment in the sun now, have ya? Ten minutes in the limelight, get yourself a bit of attention. Is that what all this is about? No. Why didn't you tell me? Because I couldn't. Why couldn't you? Because I was scared that this would happen. Don't believe you. Try again. Because I thought that everything, everything would fall apart. That ain't it either, really, is it? You didn't tell me because you're weak. You can't handle making decisions like that because you are a shadow in your own life. You just wanted to be somebody for five minutes. Well, that's fine. But if you step up, you can't make out you wasn't there. You have to take responsibility for what you, you, Mo, did. I know. Oh, look at you, victim. Alfie loved me, and now he don't. But I'd better put on a blue face because I'm little Mo. You love that role, don't you? Absolves you of all the blame. Being weak. Being a child. to the other. So that, that is nothing. <sighs> You've only got two speeds, ain't you, cat? Slap and scream. No wonder Alfie had his fill of you. Who are you? Where's Mo gone? She's here. Me and Alfie happened. What do you want me to do? Throw myself off the roof? But it doesn't matter anyway because he chose you. So why you're standing here screaming at me? I don't know what I've done that's so terrible. Are you serious? I loved him. I love him. Giving him up for you like that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Uh, poor you. Yes, poor me. I didn't choose to fall in love with him. My heart is broken too. If it was anybody else, you'd be putting your arm around me, telling me everything is okay. I ain't, is it? No, it is. I said I've had about as much as I'm gonna take from you right now. Now it's your turn to listen to me, because I'm suffering as well. I've lost the sister I love, and the man I love too. He was with me first. Everybody is with you first! Don't try and be a bitch, Mo. It don't suit you. No, you just don't like hearing it from me, do you? When someone gets hurt, it's always you who suffers the most, isn't it? No one feels it as badly as Cat. Well, they do. I do. But you, you shout and you scream and you smash the place up. And what do I do? I go upstairs and quietly soak the pillow. And who gets all the attention with their snivelling panda eyed act? You! I'm not. I'm not saying I haven't done something wrong. I have. I know I have. I wish I could have stopped it. I wish. I wish it had never started. But. But you know, for once. For once in my mousy little life, cat, I decided to put myself first. Mm. You go, girl. Making me want to chuck up here. <laughs> you think the world revolves around you, don't you, cat? You always have. Ever since we were kids, we've always had to accommodate what cat wants. Lost your swimsuit? Oh, little Mo, I'll go and find it for you. Nick to magazine, oh, that's cat for you. She's a character, she's a free spirit, she's a spoilt brat. If this makes you feel happy about betraying everything we ever had, fine. I know I've always looked out for you. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. Because I remember when everything happened with Trevor. And you said to me it'd all be all right and you'd do anything for me. Yeah, that's right, I would. You told me to come out of my shell, you encouraged me to enjoy my life. Well, that's all well and good, isn't it? So long as I don't step on your toes, eh? And that's what I've done here, innit? For the first time, I've stepped on your shoes and I've refused to lick them clean. You do know what your problem is, don't you, Cat? 
You don't actually like seeing anyone happy. Oh, you make out that you're care and you're here for everybody, but really, really, you're a bitter, jealous woman, and no more so than with your sisters. You and Belinda, you fought like cat and dog, and you and Lynn. And when it came to your own daughter, when she found a chance of a little bit of happiness in her life, you waded in and you smashed that up too. You don't deserve love, Cat, because you can't be trusted with it. Because you take it and then you break it. Well, we are all entitled to a life. We're all equal. It doesn't go. Cat, Lynn, Belinda, Zoe, little Mo. We're all joint first. We've all got a right to be happy. And if that doesn't suit you, then maybe for once you should back off. Not go dragging me out of the Vic, by my hair and smashing the place up. You've always been selfish, Cat. You talk about my act, or what about yours? Guilt-tripping people, manipulating people into getting what you want. And what's that exactly? Look at me. I ain't got a bean to me name. Yeah, I've done really well out of it, and I, eh? Yeah, great little act this has been. I get raped by me uncle. I'm shut out my daughter's life. Attempt suicide, miscarriage. Got no ass, no money. Me looks are on the turn. I'm 35 years old. Yeah, I've done brilliantly. You're right. I should retire on the riches life's heaped upon me. The one thing I had to cling on to was Alfie. You knew that. You still went with him. You'd left. Why shouldn't I? Because he's mine. You can find someone else. He's the only hope that I have in my sorry little life. Yeah. <sighs> 